Hello Colby, this is uh, Ken Wong from the Face to Face A's project and I'm here in the Luzi Orphan Care Project with Mr. Gan Wei and Samson here and we are at the Cassava Garden which uh, you folks have so generously sponsored. They planted in January and they expect to harvest in, 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 August, in, end of July. in the end of July in the beginning of August and what they'll do is that they'll, they'll pull up the plant and they'll take the, the tuber roots and this is what you, you eat from the cassava. Once it's been pulled up, you can take a cutting and plant it back into the ground so you have a bigger seedling to work with. And then they expect the next harvest to be sometime in December. Uh, so it, it, it's a fantastic project. Tell us a little bit more about what else you can use a cassava with. Yeah. Uh, in fact, the what we are, we are happy with this project is that uh, some of the raw material for the bakery that the Face to Face we will, is sponsoring us will come from the cassava garden. So we will have cassava flour mixed with the wheat flour to bake the scones, the breads and the cakes. Now this will reduce us to have costs for buying raw materials for the uh, wheat flour. Now. We are saying this project is very important and it will boost the economic status of our home-based care volunteers. In five years' time, home-based care volunteers should upgrade themselves by 50% or 70% economically. Samson Gareta's role is that he is the chairman of the executive committee of LUZI. So he plans and schedules the volunteers on which days uh, 10 volunteers will come to work and then plan for other rosters. So that's his main job and then he monitors uh, all the people in the field who come to work here. But all volunteers, 340 of them, they are divided in, uh, according to the weeks. So Mr. Samson is the chief officer on that. Cassava, when it's eaten as, as a tuber or it, it's grated into a powder or or you can also eat the, the new shoots right here, the new shoots, and they, they will um, prepare it for condiments, for sima. It is incredibly so much more nutritious than, than maize, so that's, that's one benefit. The other benefit is that cassava doesn't require fertilizer, nor does it um, uh, require irrigation. So, so all those factors put together make cassava a very, very good crop to have. So thank you so much for your generous support from Colby and, and the great team at Lucy Care. This is Ken Wong from the Face to Face AIDS Project with Mr. Gondway and Samson saying goodbye. Sound yeah, like um, a root. A root. Yeah. An unsweet like pear. Alan, you, you, say, you say it tastes like the inside of a tree bark? I mean, inside of a tree, like it tastes like bark.
Yeah.